Good morning, folks. We've got some eye candy from deep space, science articles on geomagnetically induced currents during solar storms and foundational studies on the dynamo, an earthquake, and the last 24 hours on our star. Let's slide into the holiday weekend the right way, starting with the last day on the sun. It was certainly much quieter up there on Thursday and in the overnight hours. One M-class solar flare on the right side at the limb. The eruption will not be aimed at Earth. The sunspots have actually become slightly less dangerous over the last 24 hours. Big group on the south is spreading so rapidly that it is segregating the magnetic fields that were at risk of interacting and flaring. The northern spots are morphing but still are much smaller. Flare risk does remain today but at a slightly lower level than we were discussing yesterday. Top seismic event of the last day was a 6.1 in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, luckily quite a ways away from any populated regions, but we will now be monitoring the volcanoes nearby a bit more closely. Our eye candy is up next. ESO has a brilliant 1.5 billion pixel look at the running chicken nebula and this 3D visualization of the remnant of the past Nova event that created this splendor, plus the new stars nearby illuminating the dusty plasma. First up in the articles today is one confirming the risk for solar storm electric currents to damage technology in the United States. They found most of the risk is in the main storm phase with a slightly lower risk during the sudden commencement upon CME impact. Up next are a trio of articles showing how the field is taking a much closer look at the magnetic field of Earth and how it changes. The models have never actually caught up to fully explaining observational reality, but they are getting closer. And the deeper work here is almost certainly driven by their recognition of how rapidly things are actually changing on our planet right now. The last one of the group specifically includes the ultra-weak fields during the period from 75,000 to 85,000 years ago, which almost certainly represents the many and full cycle events that happened just prior to Toba. That is the second time we have seen that, so the 84,000 years ago event should be now more solidly discussed. Don't forget folks, all our books in PDF form are now discounted for the holiday season. Grab them at the link below, just a few more days for that. And there are less than 10 tickets remaining for Phoenix on January 13th. It'll be the longest and most in-depth observer event since our last major conference. We hope to see you out there. Tickets at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.